Most theater-style shows will simply consist of a single sequence of cues playing back as a cue list on a single executor. This allows the operator to press a single Go Hard key to trigger the next look on stage. This sequence should be the selected sequence to avoid any confusion and to allow Graname and Graname Lite users to make use of the large yellow Go, Go and Pause hard keys. Occasionally, theatrical users have two main sequences of cues. One sequence for conventional channels and another one for moving lights. This has the advantage of allowing a programmer to work on complex moving light sequences without having the distraction of a conventional lookup at the same time on stage. However, this means linking every cue between the two sequences, which can become a boring task. There are other ways to achieve this separation of groups. One way is to use worlds, which will be described in Chapter 11. For more complex theatrical shows with multiple chases, use the Link column in the Edit window to allow the main sequence to trigger them. Link allows you to press a single Go Hard key, but will not restrict you in the same way as using loops inside the sequence will. If you need to interact with trigger executors, using the fixed command to ensure constant access to your main sequence is highly recommended. If you do not need to interact with trigger sequences, you can leave them on a different page than your main sequence, so that they are out of the way. The very nature of rock and roll shows means that no one single solution to show layout is going to work for every artist or even for every operator. A basic given, however, is that each song will occupy a page. This allows for the artist to change the running order on a daily basis with a minimum of rearranging for the console's operator. When using multiple pages, it is important to think about how the transition from one page to another is handled. If each page has a base look queue which overrides all parameters of all devices, then this can be an effective way of taking control and placing parameters at appropriate default values. Another way of managing page transitions comes up with the use of macros. By making a macro for each song, you can precisely control what happens to sequences on other pages and also what happens to the layout of the console. For example, a macro that manages a page change could look like this. Go exec 23.1 presses go on executor 1 page 23. Page 23 changes the current page to page 23. Fader 1 at full moves the executor fader to 100%. Off page 1 through page 64 minus page turns off all pages except the current page. Executor buttons change pages separately from executor faders. This makes executor buttons particularly useful in the field of rock and roll lighting control. Whether you use the executor buttons as additional playbacks for the current page or as a location for consistent accents throughout the show, it is important to choose how the hard keys function via the Assign menu. Toggle and Temp are particularly useful for the Executor button hard keys.